Hi, Mom. I love you. Here are five reasons why I love you. Number one, because you are so patient all the time. Mom, you're the most patient person that I've ever known in my entire life. With four kids and a crazy husband and so many animals and so many things to do, you're always patient with us 100% of the time. I think I've seen you take a deep breath more than anyone I know and always, always choose to be patient. You're patient with me and you're patient with all of us. And I really, really love you for that. And seeing you be so patient your whole life is what has made me so patient too. Number two is how much you love everyone and how much you love us. Mom, I have seen you go and take an hour, two hours, two days out of your time to help a little bird that Ginger caught in the yard just because you love it and just because it's a living thing. The way you take care of your garden, the way you take care of the animals, and the way you take care of us. How you act towards strangers, how you act towards people you know, or even people you don't know or you dislike. You love them so much, and you're so compassionate. And you show everyone and every single living thing a special type of love that I've never seen anyone else give before. You're a mother to me and to Aaron and Daniel and Grace. You're also a mother to all of our friends, to all of our pets, to anyone who needs a helping hand. And I love that. Number three is how much you love the things that you love. I'm going to name three things here. Number one is beer. Mom, I love how much you love beer. Throwback to last Christmas, Mom, when you accidentally became an alcoholic with how many <laughs> Christmas gifts you got <laughs> pertaining to beer. Number two is the pets. I mean, it's a pretty good compromise with dad to have the whole hunting and pets thing, but oh my gosh, mom, eight cats. I love coming to college and telling my friends about my home life and them not believing me <laughs> because we have so many animals. And number three is Downton Abbey. Mom, I don't know if I've seen you happier than on your Thursdays or Sundays, whenever it was with Ginger, going and making tea and watching Downton Abbey and telling me all about all of the drama of the show and telling me how much I need to watch it and get into it, but I can't do that because I know that if I do that, it's going to be bad and that's all I'm going to be able to watch because we like so many of the same things. And any time that you like something, just like what you, you know, like mother, like daughter, every time you like something, mom, it becomes <laughs> your whole life. You become so invested in it. You're so passionate about everything. You never commit just halfway to something. You're always fully in love with something. And that's true in your friendships, in your relationships, how you treat us and everything you love, you are fully 100% in. Number four, speaking of being the same, is sharing all the same jokes, mom. Whenever I get sad, I just think about <laughs> um, on the middle, Frankie naming her dog Colin Firth, and that makes me laugh every single time, no matter how I'm feeling. Or just the other day when you wrote me the card and signed it from all of the cats. That made me laugh out loud every single time I've looked at it. I'm so thankful that I was given a mother that I'm able to laugh with and I can share the same jokes with. And that you taught me the value of being funny and the value of being able to laugh at yourself and be humble and also be able to take a joke. Number five is how ambitious you are. Every project you've ever done, our house, the restoration, your garden, the animals, our family, everything, Mom, you are so ambitious. I've never, ever seen you undertake a task without the greatest and grandest motivation, and you always complete them every single time. You never leave a task unfinished. That's one of the greatest things I've learned from you, Mom, is how ambition is one of the most important things and most important qualities a person can have. Individual ambition has what I learned from you. I've taken with me to college. I've taken with me in my relationships and my friendships, my hard work, my job. All of that, Mom, I learned from you and only you. Not a single other person has taught me more about ambition and more about committing to anything and everything than you have. And of course, the very final one, I love you for your sharper chin and sharper mind. 
I love you, Mom. Happy Mother's Day.